When you think of action cameras, what's the first thing that pops into your mind? GoPro, right? GoPro has been the number one choice for professionals to capture breathtaking action shots, be it skiing down the mountain slope or diving into the deep blue sea. But what about for amateurs who don't have the money to get a GoPro? Here's where bronze action cameras come in. We have two models for review, the Mini Action DV and the 60. But before that, let's see how they stack up against the Hero 3 White Edition, the entry-level action camera from GoPro. Let's start off with the price. The Mini Action DV retails for 399 ringgit, while the 60 is priced at 899 ringgit. Surprisingly, the GoPro Hero 3 White Edition starts at 799 ringgit but you'll be getting less in terms of accessories out of the box compared to the 60. The 60 comes with a remote control, a remote microphone, a HDMI cable, and lots and lots of mounts, while the Hero 3 comes with only two adhesive mounts. There's no HDMI cable, and the accessories can range from as low as 67 ringgit up to 662 ringgit, and that's a lot of money. Even the entry-level Mini Action DV has more mounts included compared to the Hero 3. Feature-wise, the Mini Action DV has a voice activation as well as PC camera functions so that you can turn this camera into a webcam for your PC or a surveillance camera in your house. On the 60, there's a 1.5-inch LCD and a mono speaker so that you can play back all of your recordings on the camera itself. For the Hero 3, there's a Wi-Fi built into the camera itself for wireless connectivity for a remote which you need to buy separately and an iOS GoPro app. So far, the 60 beats the Hero 3 in terms of added features and accessories. But in terms of quality, nothing beats the GoPro Hero 3. It has four different video quality settings, 1080p at 30 frames per second being the highest one. Combine that with a 2.8 aperture lens, it produces very bright and vivid images. Speaking of images, the GoPro Hero 3 produces 5 megapixel stills and is able to take burst shot and time lapse images. On the other hand, the 60 only has 3 video quality settings but has a 1080i at 60 frames per second option. The lens is inferior with a 3.2 aperture diameter. In terms of image, it is only capable of producing 3 megapixel stills. The Mini Action DV, being an entry-level action camera, can only produce 640 by 480 resolution at a 30 frames per second, which is a webcam quality video. But being an entry-level action camera has its quirks as well. The Mini Action DV only weighs in a mere 25 grams. Its bigger brother, the 60, weighs a lot heavier with a 95 grams, while the Hero 3 is much lighter with a 75 gram weight. The 60 mount performs wonderful during our downhill bike run test. It manages to absorb most of the bumps and knocks throughout the heavy and thick undergrowth. But sadly, we can't say the same about the Mini Action DV. The tiny LED indicators on top of the camera is a bit confusing and we got mixed up during our test on the bike. Because of the confusing blinking LED indicators, it's quite difficult to differentiate if it's recording or not. The mounts for the bike are not as well built compared to the 60. As you can see, it moves quite a lot with every bump that we hit. But during our car test, the clip and the pin mount work quite well. But if you're planning for a joyride, please note that there's a 30 minute video recording limit on the Mini Action DB. We also took the camera on a night run just to see how it does on a low light condition. And we found out it's not as good. The video quality might not be up to par, but audio is quite good and most times better than its bigger brother, the 60. But what it lacks in sound, it makes up in a wide angle lens. 
The SIG-0 has a 170 degree wide angle lens which can capture a very wide space. All in all, the Braun Mini Action DV is a good entry level action camera and is perfect for the outdoorsman with a budget. The Braun 60 is a good replacement for the GoPro Hero 3 Wide Edition. Although you need to sacrifice a bit of video quality, but you'll be getting your money's worth with a host of add-on features and accessories.